I need some papers to rustle as you I get into a, the news. You need a wrestling news theme is what you hey, need. Hey, listen, we'll talk about Sting and everything, but I think the first thing I want to talk about, because, you know, usually when I... My first question usually after a lot of these shows is not to try to get, like, any insider news or scoops or anything like that, but more, is everybody all right? <laughs> <laughs> like, if you... I mean, if you know me, that's usually, like, my first question to everybody. Is so-and-so all right? And everybody has been asking about Darby... And here's the update. Darby Allen needed. Would you like to guess, Mike, before I say it? Uh, I, I uh, fifth, 200 stitches. I have no idea. I have no idea. What I that. looked at this guy's back last night. It was incredible. And it was like he was wearing a red cape. <laughs> and I thought, oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're not going to let him back into the match. They did. He's still streaming blood everywhere out of his back. He needed 12 stitches. Well. No. Death, no well. Death by a thousand cuts. I heard that, and I was like, okay. <laughs> Hold on a second. You mean 1,200, right? <laughs> right? 12,000? 12 stitches. So... I don't know how. It's like thumbtacks. But thank God. <laughs> and that's the story. Well, here's, I think more. So he's on his way to Everest. Honestly, to me, yeah, really, Mount Everest, that's what he's doing to relax after a show like that. I, I, I Here's my thing. Yes, he went through that pane of glass and shattered into a, a ton of pieces. So it would really, if he died, because he bled out, which they said during the show. I thought I would hear that during a GCW or a Circle 6 show first, that he may bleed out here, guys. I mean, that's Tony, what Tony Schiavone said. But my thing was, it wasn't the glass as much as the ch hitting the chair and then hitting the floor, because if you see this from different angles that are online, he didn't, this was not a joke of a jump. 16 feet through that plane, pane of glass, hitting the chairs in his liver on the chairs, and then the floor. That, even more than the glass, is what really got me about that. And it's insane. He's an idiot. But oh. he wouldn't be. Here's the thing: he wouldn't be Darby Allen without it. And you know what? I say he's an idiot because I wouldn't do that. I would think I was an idiot. But the reality is that's why the Darby Allens, Carl Walendas, why do you go see Cirque du Soleil? Because you see these people do these incredible stunts and these incredible feats physically that you can't do, and it's always amazing to see. And Darby Allen is amazing to watch and whether you like him or not you can't take your eyes off of him well this was my favorite aw pay-per-view of all time and the only thing i have you know what's funny is it's my favorite aw pay-per-view of all time and i still haven't seen the opener yet <laughs> because br live sucks but i'll well. try and deal with that later on i could have tried to watch it yesterday but I had other things that I had to attend to yesterday <laughs> and a long story for another day but anyway uh christian Beat Daniel Garcia. And from what I saw, like, the heat was insane for this match. And it looked yeah. like an incredible match. It was a nice start. I but can I, see that. I didn't see it. Eddie Kingston, Brian Danielson was a match where, on most AW pay per views, it would have been the best match on the show. Absolutely incredible. Eddie Kingston retained the title over Danielson. But this was not every AW pay per view. This match was probably the second best match on the show. Some people argued the third or the fourth. But I thought it was the second best match on the show. We had the All-Star Scramble, which I don't know, man. I guess I'm in the minority. I thought this match was great. For, given who they had in it and how many different people, different styles, different sizes, I thought they pulled this off way better than it had any right to be. Hell and no. Wardlow won, and he will be getting a shot at Samoa Joe at some point. Roderick Strong beat Orange Cassidy. Match was great. Won the international title. Roderick Strong is just a machine, a machine. Yeah. And he destroyed poor Orange Cassidy and beat him clean for the title. We had BCC not only beating FTR in Greensboro, North Carolina, but they beat them clean via double submission in the middle of the ring. They both were choked. 
Mm. And obviously, as we'll get to, the tag team titles are now vacant. So, I mean, there's only two options, okay? Unless Tony's lost his mind. Either BCC are the next tag team champions, or BCC and FTR are in the finals of this tag team tournament, and FTR beats them to win the titles. I don't think there's any other option here. We have got Timeless Tony versus Deanna. I mean, wrestling-wise, I would say it was good. Everything else about it, the fans, they do not care about Deanna. They do not want to boo Toneless, Timeless Tony Storm. There was no heat for this match, and it was not in any way surprising. I could have told you this would happen. In fact, I did. I told you this would happen going in. It's the same problem we've had with every promo segment they've done, but we just keep trudging on because things take a long time here. Will Ospreay, Takeshita, probably going to end up one of the top three or four matches of the year. Absolutely incredible. Will Ospreay should, on Wednesday, be the top babyface in AEW. He should be the number one guy. He should win the title at Wembley. I don't want any arguments. I don't want this to take a year. I mean, let's do it now. Because he can't do this forever, but he can do it right now. And we need a top babyface. Hallelujah. Samoa Joe beat Hangman and Swerve. And I will say the good thing about this is I think they actually finally pulled the trigger on Swerve actually turning babyface. I've heard people try to tell me that he is, but he's not. And based on what they did with him and Nana, clearly there is an actual turn coming. And the sooner they do it, the better. Because people want to cheer him, and he is a heel in a heel group, and it's time. And it was actually time a long time ago, just like with Tony Storm. And then Darby and Sting... You know, this was the big question. Is Sting going to put them over, or is he going to retire undefeated? And, like, my prediction was he was going to put him over, but in predicting that, I said it would be wrong. He needed to win this match. I had no doubt whatsoever in my mind, and he did, and it was awesome. And now that I know Darby only had 12 stitches, I mean, last night it was like, if I would only have changed one thing, it would be Darby's glass bump. Otherwise, it was perfect. Now I found out the guy had 12 stitches. Man, I wouldn't change anything. This <laughs> match about, was perfect. What about Ric Flair taking feet to the head? <laughs> he probably wished he could have gone through the glass. Well, that's, <laughs> that's a good point. The fact of the matter is, it was perfect. <laughs> and I loved it. And I have nothing but good things to say about this show. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.